Hello, and thank you for listening to WRYAT, New Orleans' fifth-ranked public radio station. As always, we're broadcasting live from a prefabricated Home Depot shed located off of South Carrollton by the Popeyes. Hey, everybody, this is Donnie D'Amico. And this is Ronnie D'Amico. And uh, I guess you're all still listening to this new sh- shitty version of Boat Talk that I hate. Uh, Ronnie, why don't you walk them through our shitty show that I hate now? Listen, since I'm in so much legal trouble with the company, I'm going to say I am not uh, entirely opposed to this. But the way Boat Talk is working now is now when the caller calls in, they have to stay on the line so that we can engage in what the corporate heads call a conversation. Yeah, they're calling it a conversation. I mean, they said that we used to go off tangent, do too many weird things. Nobody knows what the punished clown is. And I was like, shut up. But whatever. The direct line comes through the studio. We can't even hang up on the caller. So it's your lucky day if you want to just sit here and talk to us just as much as we want to sit here and talk to you. Uh, let's go ahead and take the fucking conversation. All right, caller. What's your question? Uh, hello, am I on the air? Yes, you're on the air. Yeah, go- yes. Uh, a long time listener, uh, first time caller, I gotta say. I I was uh, I was interested in buying a, a tandem uh, kayak. I was wondering if you guys had any uh, suggestions. Oh, uh, tandem kayak there, tandem. pal. Uh, yo, Ronnie. I mean, you remember when 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 I bought you a tandem kayak? It was to kind of make up for some uh, pretty yeah. horrible things I said about you. You know, you're my you're my brother. You're my blood. You're somebody that I love. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a rough time in our lives. I, I don't know anybody that's bought a tandem kayak that isn't going through something similar, right? Like you're trying to rejoin two boats that have drifted apart, you know? So, um, sir, uh, not, not trying to get too forward with it, but Ronnie, go ahead. You, you, Look, I listen, Carla, I have myself have had to buy several tandem kayaks in my life, like my first divorce, my second divorce, and a, a civil partnership of mine. And I understand, like, sometimes in your life you just need – to look at one of these things and say, I need a change in my life. So, uh, you got trouble at home? I, 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 I do. Really? How long have you been married there, bud? Uh, about six years. Six years, oh. wow. Okay, okay. Oh, man. Uh, things are kind of, kind of getting a little rocky there, you know? She won't let me back in the house. Oh, oh man, I don't know that you're going to be able to paddle up in a tandem kayak back in the house. I mean, that works for two, especially. Yeah, I, and I had that with my second wife, like... She kicked me out of the house. Oh, she did. That's why you're here. That's yeah. why you're here. And then, like, drew some circles on the door, put salt around the house, and I couldn't get past the salt. I don't know why, but just couldn't get into that ring anymore. She, she was trying to say that she was, like, forming a prayer barrier to keep you out of the house. I thought that was kind of weird, but, you know, she was she was saying she was trying to do everything yeah. she could to make sure you wouldn't return home. But let me yeah. tell you something. I can understand where Ronnie's second wife was coming from. Like, Ronnie... He's my best friend. He's my brother. I've loved him. I've known him my whole life. But it ain't always easy. Ronnie is a, uh, you know, Ronnie's a Space Jam fan. I'm more of a Looney Tunes back in action kind of gal. Yeah. But at the end of the day, the, what, the, what's important about that is we both agree there should be Looney Tunes. Yeah. And I have to remember that sometimes when I'm not yelling at Ronnie for keeping his goddamn who's who among H.P. Lovecraft monsters by H.P. Lovecraft book on the floor. Who leaves a book on the floor? Listen, some Ronnie does and no one else does, and I have to be grateful for that. And listen, sometimes it's just the most convenient place to put it down when you're in the middle of something, namely the bathroom stuffs or the food stuff. You, 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 you like have a, you no, you like have a you have a change in thought, and you just drop the book and run off to go do something different. It's okay. weird to see kind of in action. But what I'm saying is that used to piss me off. But then I kind of came around to realizing, like, look, pal, we don't have a lot of time. Yeah. We don't have a lot of time. We don't have as much time as we think. And we got to keep the ones we hold close, as close as we possibly can, our nearest and dearest. And we got to love them and cherish them. I mean, do you think that your uh, significant other, your wife, uh, did, she fell in love with you, but now does she try to love, like, the idea of you? I don't know, man. I just, it doesn't make any, any, any sense anymore. And look, I understand that. Sometimes things don't make sense. Like, sometimes when Donnie... Like fucking Space Jam. Or, or Donnie's fact that, like, he puts on Looney Tunes back in action, he heats up a single hot pocket, puts the plate in the sink, eats up another hot pocket, and then uses multiple plates... I'm okay, like, well, like, you know, I'm not going like, to go ahead and get, like, a, a new hot pocket on a crusty plate. It's fresh to fresh, but... But even though I keep telling him the hot pocket comes in that weird paper condom thing that heats it up, 
and it's not really making the plate crusty. I like them soft sometimes too, though. I don't always use the thing. Yeah, it's a soft, soft. Uh, I don't, use, I don't, always, use, I don't yeah. always use yeah. the hot pocket condom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you can take it off. It's okay to raw dog a hot, a hot pocket. But what I'm saying is, it doesn't always leave a crusty residue on the plate. And sometimes it's just as simple as wiping it up with your napkins. It's all about compromise, pal. You got to look each other in the eyes and remember why you got into this thing to begin with. And, remem- and you know, just know that you were here for each other. That's a sacred commitment. And a tandem kayak, while it does sort of symbolically express that or physically represent it, you got to be there for her just as much as she was there for you. She was brave enough to love you. Do yourself the favor of being brave enough to love yourself. And I think you can love her again. Yeah. And then when you acknowledge each other's differences, that's how a tandem kayak works is the two of y'all on opposite directions looking at your things in your life that like fight each other in the faces could sometimes hug each other in the faces instead of punching each other in the faces. It's simple mathematics. That's what having a tandem kayak's all about, friend. Uh, I don't I don't know what to say. Oh, well, I feel like we did pretty good. Yeah, yeah, well, that, that, you don't have to say anything. You don't have to say him. anything, pal. Well, He's speechless because we solved this problem. Yeah. Wow. Can Ronnie, I, I'm not going to lie that... That kind of felt good, and I don't think yeah. we would have been able to do that if we didn't, you know, take a take have a full on two way yeah. conversation with our callers. Yeah, Donnie, and I just want to say sometimes I just appreciate you for being you, and you know what, I, Donnie, let's let's go eat some raw dog uh, hot pockets. Hey, only if we can watch Space Jam afterwards, right, pal? Uh, you got me. Love you, Ronnie. Love you, Donnie. All right, y'all. You know what? This is the new great boat talk, and it's only. Bigger and brighter things ahead. I think this may actually have been a brilliant idea by the yeah. studio. And you know what? I'm looking forward to our next show with the next caller. Whoever it is, I'm there. And I'm going to let that call play out as long as I can. Yeah. Until next time, Ronnie and I are going to be in our tandem kayak, raw dog in hot pockets, and watching Space Jam on the water. So join us next time, callers, while we get back in the action. I'm Ronnie D'Amico. I'm Donnie D'Amico. And this is Botox. See you on the water. From the moment I slipped that cock ring over my brother's throbbing hard penis, I knew it was forever. And we haven't looked back since, have we, Lauren? We sure haven't, Bob. Because here at Family's Incest-Themed Swingers Club, family is forever. Just like the memories you'll make at America's only kink space for brood lovers right here in New Orleans. I sure will never forget the time we fucked our sisters slash aunt with all those dick cocks. How could anyone forget that? So come make your own memories by coming on down Family's Incest-Themed Swingers Club, where you and the whole family can... Come to feel well, come. Ha, that sure was a lot of come there that came out of your mouth, Bob. If you think that's a lot of come in your mouth, Lauren, just wait till you come to Family's Incest Themed Swingers Club in the CBD. Looking forward to it, Bob. Hopefully the listeners will go out on a limb and take a swing from their family tree with us. That would be perfect, Lauren. Families Incest Theme Swingers Club is located at the corner of Gravel Road and Oedipus Way in the heart of the CBD. Open 24-7. That's Families Incest Theme Swingers Club. That's Families. Suck off your grandpa and fuck the shit out of your aunt bunghole at Families. And now for episode 12 of the Linos and Limos Eating Lemons podcast. Welcome back to Leno's and Limo's Eating Lemons. I'm your host, Jay Leno, and we're here with our first guest in the limo. That's Mr. Jay Leno. Thanks, Jay. As you know, by every episode of Leno's and Limo's Eating Lemons, that we are Eat Lemons, a good thing uh, we're about to pick up our next guest, Jay Leno. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, thanks for picking me up there, Jay's. Yeah, life's been tough, but here, I thought you would want some of these. Oh, wow, Jay! Jay, they are... Lemons. They're lemons, Jay. Wow! Yeah, I love who would have... So you know, you're gonna bring your bag of lime, you're not like a bag of potatoes. Hey, hey, Jays, I saw... I saw y'all had some lemons. Y'all need a knife? Oh, yeah, Jay, you know we need a knife. Can you believe we didn't have a knife, Jay? Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? We don't have a knife. Yeah, we do need a knife, Jay. Yes, of we do. We do yeah, come on, go, go ahead. Knife hands, lemons, Jay. Knife in the back of the knife in the head. Let's see them. Let's see them. Let's see them. I bet. I bet I can describe the uh, the taste better than you, Jay. But first, here comes Jay Leno. 
Ah, it's my favorite pot. Thank you. Thank you for my lemon, Jay. Uh, I'll start the description. Uh, have you seen this? Have you tried this yet? I'll, I'll try it. I'll try it first. Uh, this lemon, uh, this lemon is sweet. This is sweet lemon. No, no, yeah, Jay. This, this lemon, these lemons are obviously, it tastes sour. These are sour lemons. Ah, uh, y'all both wrong, Jay. It's a classic. Jay, I'm gonna keep it simple with you. Uh, uh, it's a very bitter lemon. This is a bitter lemon. It's like y'all are all cuckoo crazy. It's clearly whatever flavor y'all didn't say. No, 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 no. it's sweet. It's clearly it's it's sweet. Monica Lewinsky would say it's sweet. No, OJ would say it's sweet. I, I say it's sweet. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Ow! My chin is hurting. Car, oh, this have is you seen this? this have you? We're in a car it's crash. My chin hurts. Hey, Jays. I'm really sorry about that. Uh, you know, I'm super embarrassed. Uh, are you Jays okay? Uh, this is my first day on the job. Uh, they don't make them like they used to. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is, uh, the little purchase a real lemon. Uh, hey, you guys, you guys okay? Oh, well, uh, I guess that's our show. You know what they say. Uh, nah, I'll see you next time at uh, Leno's and Limo's Eating Lemons. We now pause this programming for station identification and remind you that you are tuned in to WRYAT New Orleans Radio. Learn more about our programming online at WRYATradio.com and follow us on Instagram at WRYAT Radio. As always, you can listen to this and previous radio broadcasts on Spotify or anywhere else you download or stream podcasts. Thank you for tuning in to WRYAT New Orleans Guerrilla Radio. Yeah, let's kill him. And she doesn't want it. She doesn't return your affection either. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. No, no, no. You know damn well that it's just a demon God that's taking the form of Ma. Damn it. That demon kid is, 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 is. That demon kid is pissing pure fire all over our yard. And it's going to burn our house down again. Yeah, I, I, I wish you didn't tell me that. The Zoomer Boomer movie review is about to begin in three, two, one, action. Hello, and welcome to the Zoomer Boomer Movie Review, the show where two generations come together to talk about all things movies. I'm a 21-year-old film critic named Zoomer. And I'm a 62-year-old woman who is married to, I mean, was married to, a film critic named Boomer. And And we we love love movies. movies. It's a sad day on the show, film fans, and it hits me right in the feels. Despite putting up a fight for his right to not get vaccinated, Boomer has died from the very thing he denied existence to, the coronavirus. He was such a fighter. He fought those Chinese in that 70s war, and he fought that Chinese virus till his last breath. And we sat, as we sat in the hospital room, he took my hands and he said the bravest thing before he died. His last words were, I wanted to go out like Cool Hand Luke by eating too many eggs. And if this fake virus is going to kill me, I want you to freeze my head like Walt Disney till they find a cure for this fake Bill Gates virus. Um, that was very heartfelt, uh, Karen. Question, if you just store Boomer's head, won't they have to figure out a way to cure decapitation as well? There's no need, Zuma. The doctors would not let me cut his head off. They said it was not ethical, but the doctor was a dot Indian, so they just don't understand our culture. Uh Uh-huh. Well, uh, I know you're in mourning, Miss Karen, so I'll hold down any hot takes I may have for your big yikes. Uh, Let's just make this a teachable moment and use this opportunity to encourage everyone out there to get the vaccine. Absolutely. Thank goodness I got the vaccine. Wait, what? You you got the vaccine? Of course. There was a lottery. I heard about it on The View, and I wasn't going to pass up on that Meghan McCain money. Why didn't you bring Boomer with you? Because he hated The View. However, he loved Meghan McCain. He would print her tweets out each morning and read out loud. Oh, oh, my brain. Okay, Karen. Okay, what? You know what? Never mind. Let's just get into our topic for today. Romance movies. (laughs) 
I, hmm. <laughs> Uma took me to see Casablanca on our first date. Okay. It was such a magical night. Us in his car at the drive-in watching a classic film where an American brings love to a savage land full of Arabs and Pete Luray. Uh, it's Pete Lorre and... Uh, <laughs> I agree that the Silver Age of Cinema did produce its fair share of romantic movies to the lexicon, but uh, Miss Karen, can you expound upon what you mean by Savage Land? Oh, you're right. I was being judgmental. Morocco isn't totally savage, since a lot of them are only half Muslim. Whoa, trigger warning, Karen. No, don't get me wrong. Those Muslim lands make some good stuff. We get our gas from there, oh, and I had some chicken curry once, and I could really see how people enjoy it. Okay. I say it's a shame the Taliban is forcing gas prices to go up, as always. I wish George Bush just wiped them all okay. out when he was fighting terrorism. Y- you know, Miss Karen, oh, I'm starting to really miss Boomer. Me too. Uh, well, let's look at another romantic movie to focus on, specifically Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. This 1969 award-winning classic is packed with adventure and low-key romances between the main characters. Something was a big risk at the time for 20th Century Fox. (laughs) Oh, what now? Oh, that was the movie where Boomer first kissed me. Boomer would kiss me after every homo scene. Even Uh, years later, we uh, would sometimes role-play as Robert and Gene. He would call me his butch. (laughs) <laughs> oh god i will never kiss that man's lips again i had a feeling he shouldn't have gone to olive garden maskless yeah but boomer did send me a photo that night through his flip phone and i had a feeling he shouldn't have gone to that bar's karaoke night without a mask yeah he sent me that photo too and i was really uncomfortable when he was walking around sturgis without a mask or a helmet he didn't even have a motorcycle Uh, That was a really weird photo. I think he just went there to send it to me and troll me. He was not a troll. He was a saint. No doubt, Karen. No doubt. Uh, Let's try another movie. What about When Harry Met Sally? I love that movie. Let's talk about that one. Well, uh, this Rob Reiner classic sought to answer the question, can men and women be friends? Karen, let's start with your thoughts. Oh, that was one of Boomer's favorites. Boomer loved any movie with a Jew star. Hold up, Karen. You can't say that. Why not? Is Meg Ryan not a Jew? No, I I feel like at least Boomer would have gotten what was wrong with that statement. (laughs) Oh, no. Oh, Boomer. I I just remember we took a road trip. 79, and he was so sweet. Oh, God, I'm a widow now. I'm so alone. Ah, damn it, this is hard. Um, I'm sorry, listen. Uh, How about we talk about sense and sensibility, huh? I would rather talk about the Kickstarter my nephew set up for me. To help pay for the medical bills? No, to help raise awareness that these vaccines are untested and can make people magnetic. Uh, Karen, I uh, sense no sensibility in that. Okay, Zuma. Ooh, that still hits weird, TBH. You know, the problem with your generation is that you can't see sense. Look, all you millennials just want to play your Game Boys. Oh, I'm sorry. Your Game He Him 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 Boys. Miss Karen, there's a lot to unpack there, but first of all, the Game Boy came up before I was even alive. Huh? How is that possible? (sighs) Why don't we move on to West Side Story? Uh, West Side Story is a modern retelling of the Romeo and Juliet story of two star-crossed lovers. I thought the story was as good as the music, but casting Natalie Wood as a Puerto Rican woman was most definitely whitewashing. Miss Karen? I saw that movie, and I give it too many Puerto Ricans. Miss Karen, that is both racist and not a legitimate way of tallying movie quality. Traditionally, critics like us use stars and not ethnicities. Zuma, I gotta say, this is America, and this is the one movie where I will not be having what they are having. Oh, cute. Uh, Harry Met Sally callback, huh? Oh, I didn't watch that movie. I don't like movies with juice stars. Karen, you can't say that. And if you don't like that, you're definitely not going to like that Steven Spielberg is slated to direct the remake of West Side Story. A Jew doing musicals? <sighs> what is this, Rabbi on the Roof? Why don't they just give musicals back to the Puerto Ricans like that Hamilton guy? Uh, okay, Karen, I... 
people at home, that's her show. I'm ending it there. I can't even. I, I can't. I can't even. I just can't with this one. Thank you again for joining us for another adventure on the big screens with the Zoomer Boomer Movie Review. And now, a word from our sponsors. Spanky Nummies is having a real swinger sale right now. You can buy two-for-one dungeon room sets valued at $600 for only $300 with $50 down. All sexy senior couples get a 68% discount. Bad credit? No credit? No problem. On welfare or social security? You newlyweds? No problem. Come see us. I say, I say, this is Spanky and Dummies, the sex palace that will let you have your kinks with no problem. I like to buy a double-ended dildo with a sex swing for two. You have any credit? No, I receive social security and welfare. You have to see the special gimp. Your kinks are no problem. I'd like to buy a light-up cock cage for when my wife cucks me. You have any credit? No, I file for bankrupt. You have to see the special gimp. Come by, come and buy Spanky and Dommies where your bottom's bottom dollar can get you top quality toys for your tops. They're the kinkiest guys in town. They got living room sex, they're doing bedroom sex. Every room can be a sex palace. That's Spanky and Dommies, where your kinks are no problem. Good evening, this is Chandra Biddle, and you're listening to the Woke Stocks Social Stock Update. Here is a quick update on company stocks in the marketplace of public opinion. Pfizer stocks are up on account of the vaccine mandate. Match.com stock is down due to there being too many mandates. Stop flooding the market with mandates, Match.com. Tesla stock is up because Elon Musk tweeted the word Tesla. Ford stock is down since they've appropriated the names Mustang and Bronco for vehicles that are clearly not horses, as well as the name Ranger for a vehicle that is clearly not protecting any parklands or forests. Ben and Jerry's stock is up (laughs) since they gave their ice creams the pronouns sun and day. Unilever's stock is down (laughs) because they actually own Ben and Jerry's and they have a dystopian sounding name that sounds like something out of Blade Runner. We normally list De Beer stock as being down on our social marketplace update on account of them selling blood diamonds and fomenting the creation of child soldiers, but De Beers recently added Braille to their website to make it more accessible for the sight impaired, so their stock is up. (laughs) Chuck E. Cheese has still failed to make their stance on abortion known, so their stock is down. Paramount stock is up for launching Paramount Plus, which has the Smithsonian Channel. And I absolutely love the Smithsonian Channel. Disney stock is down since the media conglomerate bought out the Metropolitan Opera Company and reduced diversity in the entertainment ecosystem. As a note, if Disney buys Paramount Plus before this report goes to air, adjust this item to read that Disney stock is up. My Pillow Incorporated stock is down until it becomes a less conservative company and renames itself Our Pillow. Finally, Intergy stock is up because my power finally came back up and I don't want to make them angry. Lord knows the only other option is for the city of New Orleans to take over and they currently run the sewerage and water board. That's your woke stock social stock update for today. And remember, no justice, no EPS increase. This is WRYAT New Orleans Radio. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time.